How's everybody doing? My name is Betchman, and welcome back again to more Pokemon, uh, not BGC, but we're still doing the Crown Tundra DLC. Uh, as you can see, Peony's still having his body possessed. I'm not really sure. Uh, but we have to go find the carrots for uh, Calyrex's uh, trusty steed. I'm assuming we're going to buy from this guy because... Uh, Oh, he's, I literally could buy from him earlier. Well, you won't uh, be finding any time, any this time of year. We do have seeds right here. Do you want to trade eight pieces of Dainite ore for the carrot seeds? Uh, sure. Uh, oh, wonderful. This is plenty. Now we can uh, bury the ore in our fields and make huge crops. Uh, here are the seeds as promised. We obtained a bag of carrot seeds. Uh, seeds to plant in a field, the kind of carrot you'll get is determined by which field you plant the seeds in. Uh, don't go planting these, those seeds I give you willy-nilly in the village's fields now. These fields are for our own crops. Well, okay. I um, think that should have been it because I remember talking to him. Reggie, like he's taking his time to get over here. Uh, I remember talking to him earlier when I was trying to just talk to people and uh, yeah, he was selling them. Have you found the carrots, human child? I mean, I found seeds by the stars. Okay, his, I, I love his look. <laughs> uh, you say that you have carrot seeds? That strange bag can say, contains the seeds of carrots. You, you humans never stop adapting and evolving. I am constantly amazed by your ingenuity. Uh, and yet, hmm. The fields of the village simply won't do. They're not suited for growing carrots. If we could find rich soil, I could use my powers to grow the crops we need. Now, where might we find soil suited for growing those uh, these crops in this tundra of mine? I do not know where that is. Ah, I see two spots that might suit our needs. One is a field covered in pristine snow. And another spot is a field by gravestones where those who moved on were laid to rest. I have no idea where either of those spots are at. Either of those locations should allow me to use my powers and grow the carrots we need. Please, I ask that you choose a field and plant those seeds. And he gone. And his hat just goes right back on his head. Uh, what in the... I seem to be getting in a bit of habit of falling asleep outside. I guess it just goes to show that holding down the fort isn't all that easy. You take care of yourself, Chief. Don't overdo it. Yeah, he just keeps getting possessed. I kind of feel bad for him. He's just getting possessed, and he doesn't know what's going on. Uh, you marked the two fields Calyrex told you about on your town map. Okay, that's good. You jotted down the current status in Legendary Clue 1. Uh, upon hearing that I was able to find carrot seeds, Calyrex told me about two fields where I can grow the carrots. I need to pick either the field covered in snow or the field covered by the graves and plant the seeds. Um, so I'm pretty sure whichever one we pick, let's see what the town map says. So we'll go there. Snowside Slope. Um, wait, what? You can't fly there yet. Well, why not? Thought I could. Uh, well, okay, I guess I'll... I'll head over there. I'll cut that out. I don't know why I can't fly over. Kind of strange that I had a... Oh, it's more story. Uh, Nan Nanny. Seen that song about the king's uh, steed Pokemon? Ah, of course, my dear. I'd love to. Ice root carrots cold as ice munched all up by the bully in white. Shade root carrots, dark as doom, crunched by the bully with a ghostly gloom. Uh, now you make sure you eat your veggies too, just like the Pokemon in that song. Uh, yes, Nan. This feels adorable. Okay. Now I think I can fly. I just had to... Tell me one more time. I don't think... I... Yeah, I can't fly there. Uh, we can fly here, though. Um, I think I want to pick the ice one, maybe. So we'll see. I don't know exactly where we are supposed to go. What's that? A candy. Um, I know it was by 
water, but that's really all I got. There's just a Metagross just chilling. Just loving life. Animatang. I still just... It still just baffles me to see, like, these crazy strong uh, Pokemon just out in the wild. Um, I might... I might end up cutting some stuff out so that we can not waste any time and just get over to where we need to get over to. Because um, I don't know where to go. Uh, I know it's by water, so I got that going for me. So I think I'll I'll meet up with you guys once I find where we're supposed to go. Uh, so give me just a moment, and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, update. Shouldn't have even told you guys I was going to cut it out because literally I went like 10 more feet and I found the crop I was supposed to go to. Uh, it's one of the fields Calrix told you about. Do you want to plant uh, the carrot seeds in this field? Yes. He grabbed Peony. What in the heck? I see you've reached one of the fields. Did he just go and kidnap him? If you plant the seeds in this field, ice root carrots will grow. It has been so long that my memory is hazy, but I believe that my loyal steed would often partake of this sort of vegetable. If ice root carrots were what my steed preferred, it must have been ice type, mustn't it? It's most vexing that I can't recall. I suppose we will see. I will ask, but once more, are you sure this is the field in which you want uh, to plant the seeds? Absolutely. Very well, then I ask that you plant the seeds. We're planting carrot seeds. We're patting them. Uh, very good, very good. You have an able hand for working with soil. Thanks. Uh, now then, it's time I did my part. Let me show you my powers. Is he doing an Irish dance? And Peony Dance, by the way, as well, if you didn't see that. Doink. You planted so many seeds, and yet my powers could only get one to grow. To think that I have fallen so low, it truly breaks my heart. But soon it will be time to bid my sorrow fa farewell. Now, human child, I must ask that you pull that ice root carrot free with all your might. Oh, boy. Uh, do you want to pull the carrot out? Yes. One and two and pull. You obtained an ice root carrot. Produce that the king of bountiful harvest beloved steed like to eat. It grew in a field covered in snow. Well done, human child. That carrot will be the key to luring my loyal steed back to me. Now all I need are the reins of unity. They will amplify my power, letting me ride my loyal steed with ease. But I doubt I shall ever get another set from the humans in the village. As the steed's coming down. You look pretty cool. What? Glastrier, my loyal steed, is that truly you? That glistening white pelt, that rough, valiant gallop, has not changed from the day we first met. Oh, how this brings back memories. It, it rode off. It is my belief that while my steed picked up on the scent of the carrot, it could not determine where the scent was coming from. Judging from the direction it ran off in, it must be headed to the village in an attempt to pillage carrots there. If that is true, then freezing tin is in danger. Human child, we must make haste. And, uh, keep Peony kidnapped. Because that would be just fine. Uh, jotted down the current stats. Calrex was able to grow an ice root carrot from the seeds I planted in the field covered in snow. The scent of the carrot lured Glastrier out, but it ran off towards Freezington. Let's go ahead and fly black. Fly black. Fly back to Freezington. Talking is really hard. Uh, he's just chilling in the field right here. Okay. Everyone's. Kind of freaking out, although Nanny looks really angry. And we're 
Probably gonna have to fight it. Yep. Also, I think it's like the one of the. I mean, maybe the other horse Pokemon had an actual horse sound, but. Let's see. It is after your ice root carrot. No. <laughs> uh, can we even throw a uh, Pokeball, Timer Ball? Uh, no, we cannot, so we just gotta take it out. Uh, Thunder Cage, I guess. And he one shot him. So that happened. Sure, we were supposed to defeat it just like when we defeated Calrex, so. That would be my assumption, at least. Yeah. I think maybe it's calmed down at this point. And here's the floating Calrex with probably Peony. Uh, it is going to take out Nanny. <laughs> I don't know what's happening at this point. And it uh, storms off. Doesn't take Nanny out. Are you alright? Yes, I feel like something stepped in to save me. And it drops something. Reigns of Unity? A tuft of white mane hair. Mane hair that belonged to the King of Bountiful Harvest, beloved steed, uh, Glastirior. The hair is strong and very flexible. Is that how he makes Reigns of Unity? Uh, oh, kind visitor, how could I possibly thank you enough for saving the people of this village? I had no, no idea such a vicious Pokemon still existed in the tundra. Why, it reminded me of that Pokemon in the fairy tales, the loyal steed of the king. Ah, uh, but no doubt I am overthinking things. Hmm, what do you say you have there? Is that a tuft of white mane hair? In the fairy tales, it is said that by weaving the hair of the loyal steed together with a radiant blossom grown by the king, it is possible to create the reins of unity, which will link the king with its steed. In fact, it was my own ancestors who used to weave the reins of unity following an ancient tradition passed down over many years. Of course, I myself have never seen any kind of radiant flower, and the methods of making the reins has also been lost to time. In any case, we can't spend all day musing over fairy tales. I must make plans and preparations. That Pokemon could well decide to pay us another visit after all. Thank you very much for your help, kind traveler. So we have like half of what we need and he still has peony i feel so bad for him at least he's like thinking that he's sleeping so we're probably gonna have to talk to them again to find out uh where to get this flower because i don't think calrex is going to be able to make it i mean i highly doubt it where do we gotta go where do we gotta go over here. I just don't know where I'm at. Uh, you have my thanks, child, for... Or you have my thanks for protecting the village, human child. Were I at my full power, I could have tamed my steed and regained its loyalty. But weakened as I am now, the most I could do was influence its will and make it depart. If only I had the reins of unity, they would have allowed me to tame my steed in short order. Uh, we need a flower. What's that? We can make a set of reins with mane hair from my loyal steed and a flower that I can grow? A flower, a flower. Yes, but of course. I'd assume that the humans stopped making the reins of unity because they had lost their faith in me. But it was because I lost the power to grow the material needed. I spent far too long holding my misguided assumptions, it seems. It has been many centuries since I was able to grow a radiant flower. Doing so drained so much of my power. But for whatever reason, a fraction of my power seems to have returned to me just now. There's only one thing to be done. Let the radiant flower bloom. You just gonna do it out of thin air? Yep. Take this, human child. 
a radiant petal. Uh, let's see. It shames me to admit it, but a whole flower is beyond me right now. I do not know if that petal will be enough, but I still must ask that you use it to try and create the reins of unity. The descendants of the family who once made the reins for me should still live in the village. I put my hopes on you, human child. Well, I mean, we did just kind of run into him, but he did say that he... I don't think he knew how to do it, or at least it got lost in time on how to do it, so we will give it a shot, see what this guy says, and hopefully you can do it. Oh, hello again, savior of our village. Come to do uh, some more reading? Nope. I beg your pardon? You want me to make a set of reins of... Make a set of reins of unity? Well, I say that presents a bit of a problem. If my dear great-granddad were still around, he'd have he'd have been able to make you a set. But unfortunately, we've no one left who knows the traditional ways at this point. What's more, I doubt you have the flower you'd need to forge a set of the reins. I do have it. Is, is that a petal from a radiant flower? If so, would that not mean the King of Bountiful Harvest has truly... No, no, I dare not hope. If I recall, my ancestors made Reigns of Unity by following the ways passed down in fairy tales. There were two key materials, a flower and hairs from a Pokemon. But I'm afraid those old traditions have long since faded from memory. Still, how could I refuse, such a f uh, refuse a favor to such a kind and helpful guest? The materials, if you please. So he's going to give it a shot. He's going strictly off of fairy tale. I can't promise this will turn out as well as the ones my great granddad would have made, but time to breathe life back into the traditions of my village. He's doing something. I'm afraid it hasn't come out well at all. <laughs> uh, I fancy myself a craft, crafty enough sort, but I suppose it'd take a craftsman of truly delicate technique to make such fine reins. Oh, please don't look so dejected. I'm very sorry. Truly, I am. Oh, Mr. Mayor. Oh, God. It's going to it's gonna be him. The hot water in my shower seems to have gone on holiday. Ah, oh, yes. Terribly sorry. I'll have a look at it as soon. Or look, have a look at it soon. It's hard to read today. Um, oh, you're here too, Chief. Are we in the middle of something? The pair of you seem awfully gloomy. Uh, here's what happened. What is that all? So all you need to do is make some nice cord. Pass me those materials for me. All right. Pass me those materials for a mo. Whatever that means. Uh, Alright. Got my pedal. Got my hair. Now what am I supposed to do with them? If I may be so bold, allow me to share a song that survives from the legends. Blossom woven round and round. A royal gift in mane's hair bound. Steady on, old bloke. The singing's a bit much... Oh well, that'll do for an answer. And he's just gonna go at it. I'll finish to have a look. Think this'll do? Uh, okay, apparently Peony knows how to make reins. Cords that shine when you hold them up to the light. The people of old times presented these to the uh, to the King of Bountiful Harvest to express their gratitude. You're more capable uh, than your face lets on. <laughs> these, yeah, that's harsh. Uh, these reigns of unity are the spitting image of those in my family's tales. Uh, I don't sew all my dear rebellious daughter's clothes for nothing, you know. Even the explorer's outfit I gave you was handmade by yours truly. Uh, in any case, it seems you got the reigns of unity you need. Isn't that just smashing? Alright, that ends that conversation. Uh, Alright, we got the reigns of unity. Let's go in. Well, I guess we're just going to jump straight into it. Or we're going to probably... Oh, he's going to get grabbed again. Uh, would you believe it? I caught myself falling asleep outside again. I was chilled to the bone, so I thought I'd warm myself up with a good hot shower at our base. But the water coming out was ice cold. I got ultra mega surprised. and Yeah, I can even read the rest of that because... Yeah. Uh, human child, were you able to make the reins of unity? Uh, yep. 
Oh joy, what glorious news. I have some good news of my own. I was finally able to track down my loyal steed. Glassdryer is making its home in the Crown Shrine. It is a place where my loyal steed and I spent much time together. I had been avoiding the place as I feared I would get trapped in my in mine own nostalgia. Why has my loyal steed made the shrine its home? Is it reminiscing about our time together? No, it can't be. Uh, the Crown Shrine stands majestically atop the mountain to the north. Bring the carrot and the reins of unity and meet me there. I shall ha uh, hasten there now, but you may come when you feel you are ready. I am counting on you, child. And he's going to take Peony with him. Because uh, that's a thing, just to kidnap a person. Um, now it says, using the main hair I got by defeating the Pokemon that was once the king's loyal steed, along with the radiant petal grown by Calyrex himself, I was able to recreate the reigns of unity. Now I need to head to the crown shrine where the steed's been living to meet up with Calyrex. So we have quite a ways to go. So we got to go up there. Well, not up there. So I'll probably cut to us when we actually get up there because... We got a little ways to go, so I will meet you up with you guys in just a moment. Alrighty, so we made it to the path of the peak. It was a little bit of like not knowing where the heck I was going in the cave and just winging it. So we've made it to where uh, the uh, was it the crown shrine was at. So we'll see what happens. I'm really liking this DLC. I love the uh the snowy environment that they made i love the soundtrack that they used for it uh it's crazy seeing all the new wild encounters that we see like going through the cave i ran into um a, a salamence just out like hey so that was pretty cool there was a bunch of frost moths at one point too so whoa we had a cutscene and he's got peony of course he does. Uh, I have been waiting, human child. The Crown Shrine is a place I once called home. Glashire must think me helpless, uh, or must think me helpless now that I have lost my powers. It taunts me by making this place its own dwelling. Ah, uh, I see you have indeed um, have brought me the reins of unity. You have my thanks, child. And we handed it over to Calrex. Uh, I feel the I f the feeling of holding these again, the color, the way they shine in the lights, oh, how this brings back memories. Glastrider is a very proud Pokemon. One might even call it arrogant. It will not accept me as its master again unless I'm able to prove th that my power outweighs its own. I will use the reins of unity to pour my power into the very body of my loyal steed. That should convince it that I'm, I am indeed still deserving of its loyalty. Now, human child, in order to lure my loyal steed to me, place the ice root carrot into the basket near where Glass Dryer made its bed. And we'll see if we even have to do anything. Do we want to place the ice root carrot? Yes, so we do. It's a giant carrot. Also, don't know if I trust a blue carrot. The time has come, human child. But you have successfully defeated my loyal steed once already. It will not willingly approach anyone it considers to be a threat. We must hide and wait for it to appear. Sounds like a plan. We're just going to wait this one out. However long it's going to take. See, uh, see this one unfold. Peony's just knocked out. Oh, and now he's got the reins in his hand. And there comes Glustrier. I think I'm pronouncing that right. All right, what's gonna happen? He just goes for mounting him immediately. And Peony woke up. <laughs> Literally breaking in a horse. I mean, 
mean, that was pretty cool, to be honest. They've never actually, like, combined two Pokemon together. His legs kind of throw me off, to be honest, but, uh... And also, he got a cape. So that's something. So, uh... We'll see what happens now. Yeah, now he magically got a cape. Or, I don't want to say a robe, but something. Pony's probably going to freak out. Yep, what what in the world? Such a huge noggin, and it, it's got a ride? What? It can talk? What? What do you want? Since now we can't understand him. Maybe we can. Huh? I've got no idea what you're saying, but somehow it also makes sense. Hold the phone. What in... Oh, not again. See, now he knows. Human child, thanks to your efforts, I have been reunited with my loyal steed. And now I am finally at my full power. I was conceived that the people no longer believed in me, and I had also lost my loyal steed. I was trapped in the throes of deep loneliness. But you saved me. There are truly no words with which to fully express my gratitude to you. So, I have a suggestion. If you are able to catch me, even with my powers restored, it will prove your worth beyond any doubts, and I will lend you my strength on your journey. Once you have readied yourself, come face me. Ah, but first... I should get this man back to where I found him. It'd be no good to let him freeze out in this frigid climb. And he's gone. Alright, so uh, the most important thing, always, is to save. And uh, we will... See, I don't even know who I want to start off with. I guess I start off with uh, Incineroar? This would probably be the best thing to start off with. It's going to be a nice typing. Not really sure how it's typing works if they're combined. Do you want to ready your Pokeballs in order to catch Calyrex? Yes. Alright. Calyrex appeared. So I wonder how that works if they're after I catch him. If you can separate them or how that, you know, whatever you're supposed to do. Level 80. Calyrex is unnerve. And I use Intimidate. I am very under level against this. And would you look at that? We caught it. I might have, you know, used a Master Ball because... My patience was growing really, really thin because I just could not catch it to save my life. I don't even want to begin to tell you how long I've been trying to catch this thing. And uh, it just refused. So, you know what? We were given a Master Ball from Peony. I'm going to use it. Uh, according to lore, this Pokemon showed no mercy to those who got in its way, yet it would heal its opponent's wounds after battle. Uh, High King Pokemon Ice Rider. Uh, new... Uh, add to my party, I guess. Uh, everything was going down, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Uh, switch Torkoal out, I guess. Uh, send the Pokemon to the box as is. Uh, caught him in the Pokeball. Human Child. No, I should refer to you by your name now. Tyler. Aw. I look forward to what adventures we might have together. Hello, that you, Chief? It's me, Peony. I just had a dream about a big-headed Pokemon talking on and on in a weird shrine. You were there too, Chief. It all felt so real. I got worried about you and decided I'd better give you a call and check in. You haven't hurt yourself, have you, Chief? Not a bunch of trouble, are you? I'm fine. Ah, good to hear. I guess I got nothing to worry about then. 
The Peonia Exploration Team is all about the safety and well-being of its members, after all. So you be careful on your way back, too, you hear? No expedition's over until you're safe and sound back at home base. Uh, you jotted down the current stats on Legendary Clue 1. Calrex, the king of Bountiful Harvest, was able to reconnect with its loyal steed using the new reigns of unity. Calrex also seems to have regained its trust in humankind, as thanks for helping it regain its power, Calrex is allowing me to take it along on my adventure. Better report back. So we finally got uh, Calrex. I think we can just fly back. And we'll fly back to home base, to Freezington. And see what Peony's got to say when he finds out that uh, we caught the king. Didn't think that was going to really happen, to be honest. Uh, oi, oi, chief, what's... Well, how goes the adventure? Anything to report? Uh, yeah. Wait, you really caught Calrex from the Legends? That's ultra mega brilliant. Report away! That, 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 that noggin's massive. Is that the King of Bountiful Harvest? The one calling the shots around here? Huh, I could swear I've seen it before, or then again, maybe not. A anyway, it's definitely regal of it to have a steed. And that massive head does sort of resemble a crown. It's kingly enough at any rate. Let's just call this a successful expedition. Looks like you reported all there is to report in Legendary Clue 1 and the King of Bountiful Harvest. Smashing! I'll mark this expedition down. Uh, Calrex, the King. Oh yeah, we already did that. So, we're done with it. Got anything else Legendary you want to report or talk about? Uh, nope. So, uh, that's kind of it. Um, I know there's a legendary bird spot, but that's just kind of catching the legendary birds like we just did, the, uh, the Reggies. Um, if you want me to do that, or you want to see it, let me know. Um, probably just gonna go ahead and catch them, uh, not recording, and we're just gonna go straight back to battling. But I do hope that you guys enjoyed, take, uh, you know, the little break that we had from battling and, you know, really diving into the story from the Crown Tundra. I'll exit out of the house just to see if there's anything random that happens which there's not and we have lapras following us um but uh yeah i had a really good time with the dlc i really enjoyed the story of calrex it had a little bit more in my opinion it had a little bit more to it than the isle of armor did but either way i really enjoyed playing the dlc getting to catch the reggies getting reggie alecky um doing the whole story of calrex so Again, if you guys want to see more of these kind of walkthrough playthroughs um, on the channel, please let me know. But we'll probably just go back to our normal battles because VGC is going to be insane with everything going on right now. And I cannot wait to start it and uh, show you guys the teams that I've created, the teams I'll try, and how lucky or unlucky we're going to get in VGC. But uh, anyways, thank you guys again for watching the videos. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.